Salt Bay National Team Huddle Call. My name is Stacey Wallace, and it is my privilege to welcome you tonight to hear about what's hot, what's not, what's the latest, who's making it happen, and what's going to happen this week in the world of Solave. Again, thank you all so much for making the shift to Monday nights. This is the new home of the National Team Huddle Call, where we are going every Monday night at 6 p.m. Pacific. That's 8 p.m. Central. That's 9 p.m. over there on the East Coast. Uh, we're going to join together. The team huddle is about coming together in one time, one place, just like the quarterback brings the team in, and then we all shuck and jive out together and go for that absolute Super Bowl uh, win of the season. So we have multiple quarterbacks that are going to be playing in on the team huddle call every week from corporate uh, announcements that are going to be coming in to some of the top best of the best producers in the company. We want to make sure every week we provide meat for you that you can go out immediately and begin to build your business every single week. So tonight, uh, it is my joy to tell you that tonight's topic is I Am Solove. You may know about a tour that's coming up starting this week. Well, tonight we're going to talk not only about that tour, but what it means to be a leader within the Solove network. And you're going to hear not only from me and from some of the announcements that we have, but from some great leaders, including James Linhart, who is the leader of Revo 12, an incredible tribe of leaders that has been developing within Solove, as well as Ryan Lelf and Caroline Lelf, who are the heads and founders and chief gurus of Tribe YOLO. i got to tell you, when Tribe YOLO showed up at the national launch, they came bearing Tribe YOLO wristbands that my children fought over. So tonight we'll have to figure out exactly how we can get some more of those, Ryan and Caroline. Tonight we're going to talk a little bit about Solade before we get into the meat of our training. And, you know, you hear us talk about revolution and, and people say, well, what, what's so big about mobile service? And really, that's really not what Solave is about, even though we do offer 4G unlimited nationwide voice, text, and data. But what the revolution is, it's about changing the way people think. It's about changing people's perspective. And we are just going to go ahead and go for the jugular with Solave. We're going to try to change the perspective of the way commerce is done in America, realizing that there has been a trillion-dollar debt that has just continued to escalate, realizing that people have been struggling financially, um, whether it's just to be able to buy the pull-ups for the family or whether it's to make ends meet, pay the house mortgage, whatever it is, people have been struggling to get by, and we believe um, that it's time we, as the American people, we take a stand, we stand up, and let our voice be heard, and Solovey is certainly being a part of that by driving down the cost of commerce, making it even profitable for our members, and also giving an opportunity for people like you and I to make a difference in the lives of others by helping them uh, just make a few extra hundred dollars a month. And for those who are a little more aggressive or what I call hyper-promoters, well, there's an incredible opportunity for you as well. One of the things that people always ask is, what is Solovey? And you hear revolution, you hear hope, you hear freedom. You hear business opportunity, but really what Solove is, Solove is a social commerce network. Now, you've heard of social networks like Facebook and Twitter, um, LinkedIn, but social commerce network means we're taking it to another level. And instead of uh, like Facebook who hit 1 billion crazy amazing, proving that people want to connect, they want to chat, they want to uh, be able to post and tweet and, and get to know their friends and family and know what they're doing, but what's amazing about that is nobody seems to care that what Facebook does is uses us to make money. They mine our information, sell it to advertisers, and then basically Facebook and advertisers make money. Well, what Solovey is doing is kind of changing the game in social networking. It's saying, you know, we're the people who are actually checking into Starbucks and sharing, um, posting the tweets, telling everybody we're at Starbucks and, and checking in there. And, and Starbucks makes money, Facebook makes money, but we don't. Well, Solove is saying, well, it's time the people get a piece of the pie. And so on an average of 50 cents on every dollar of gross profit, Solove's social commerce network is committed to making sure that people begin to be the number one source of advertising and get paid for doing it. It's pretty exciting, this, the offering there. So you can take a look there. Mobile service, we're offering unlimited voice, text, and data, 4G nationwide, for only $49 a month. So driving down commerce in the one spot that is the sweet spot of most people's household, most families are spending over $71 a month per phone. So this is the first area 
of commerce that we believe has got to be changed because people are overspending every single day on those little mobile devices. Now, of course, connecting that with social media is the heartbeat of Solove, and um, that's the way you're going to see through the notification systems, through our, on, on our mobile app. Um, it looks like my phone there got elongated. <laughs> um, but uh, so you can see there, George represents the people, and George is just saying when you share it with a few friends, you're actually going to be able to start making money, start saving on your mobile service, get it even free. And for those of you who want to build a business with this, well, there's an opportunity for you to do that. And what you're going to find with Solove is there's three real basic core values that we are passionate about. We value connection. We believe that our relationships are the most important asset, most valuable asset that we have. That's why you'll hear people say that we love doing business and doing life with people we like, love, and trust. I just got off the phone with a number of my friends who are all Spanish-speaking, some of them Puerto Ricans, some of them are Latinos, some of them are from Spanish-speaking markets, and we are just excited that right now, uh, I loved one of them said, you know, if they're going to do good in the United States mainland, then wait till it gets to Puerto Rico because we know how to do relationships. <laughs> and so I am so excited that Solove is about connection. The second thing is Solove is about valuing goodwill. We believe that making life better for others is what matters most. Um, you know, it's great to have great relationships, but if you're not doing good for others, it kind of becomes very self-serving. I love what Zig Ziglar once said, you can have everything in life you want if you'll just help enough other people get what they want. And truly the bigger picture about Solove, why we're driving down commerce, is we want to see people like you and those that are our members. Uh, the money that you save, if it's not paying off your bills, maybe you already have your bills paid off. I know that's a rare few. But it uh, gives you more to do good for others, whether your uh, nonprofit of choice is the Susan G. Komen Foundation or maybe it's the Children's Hunger Fund or maybe it's your local church or whatever it happens to be. We believe making life better for others is what matters most. We don't believe that building big business is what matters most. And so we want to see the reversal of those funds, the turning of the tide where the people get to have a choice and what matters most. And finally, initiative. We believe great results require us to take ownership and action. Interesting about these three core values is you could have connection and a really good heart to do good for others, but if you don't take action, um, if you don't have initiative and think that it's going to fall in your lap, well, then Solove is probably not for you because it does take initiative. You can have goodwill and initiative. You can have all the um, how to in the world, but if you don't have connection with people, if you've never learned uh, how to win friends and influence people, well, you might struggle in the area of connection. We want to encourage you to take these three things, and I think when you hear from our special guests tonight, you're going to hear how these three things truly do drive excellent business through Solove. And of course, when we look at the future of Solove, it's because we're not going to stop at the cell phone. Why we're asking you to be a part of the Solove movement or revolution is because we believe as we build to the millions of subscribers, uh, it's going to give us the opportunity to have the leverage to open up other markets and other resources, other services, so that we can begin driving down commerce all the way across the board for all of our members. So that's just a little bit about Solove and why we are so excited, why we want to invite you to be a part of the revolution and uh, tonight we're going to take time to dive into some topics. If you're brand new with us, then I uh, just encourage you, if, if you haven't gotten started, the first thing you want to do is get with the person that told you about Solove. Tell them, I am ready to be a part of the revolution. I want to be a part of this vision and this change. Um, if you've already been involved, then get ready because I'm getting ready to go through what's hot, what's not, who's hot, who's on top, and what you can expect this week from Solove. So let's start off with What's hot? What's hot is the I Am Solove tour schedule that everybody is asking about. We know this week starts this Friday in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I know many of you have been driving. Um, you've been canvassing the area. You're putting out flyers. You're, you're, um, you're, you're calling people. You're some of you are breaking some of the rules. I saw it. You're advertising. I saw a couple of Craigslist posts. Don't think you're supposed to be doing that, but I have been seeing that you guys are totally excited 
about Solave coming to Tulsa, Oklahoma. We want to crush that hole. What that means, crush it, means blow it out of the park, knock the home run. Uh, we really want to crush it out there in Tulsa, Oklahoma. It's going to be our first stop in the I Am Solave tour. And I know you guys are thinking, okay, what comes after Tulsa? Well, I want you all focused on Tulsa. It's going to be a great, great event. Friday night this week uh, is going to, it's all going to start 5 o'clock. You're going to start registering, checking in, 6 o'clock. We're going to have a live vision presentation up close and personal with our CEO and founder, Ryan Wirch. And then post that vision presentation, which you definitely want to be a part of that. Um, you get a much more emotional feel when you're going face-to-face with the man who truly had the epiphany of standing up. Uh, you know, there's, this is a, a candidate season where people are campaigning for presidency. And here we have a CEO that's campaigning for the people to drive down commerce and to truly build a corporation that is about the people, for the people, and an answer to bring hope to the people um, right now. So uh, the I Am Solovey Tour is exciting. After that live vision presentation is going to be a hopping block party fiesta style, baby. We're going to have so much fun. We're going to have a DJ. It is going to be an exciting time that night. And then Saturday morning you can come back, be a part of training from 9 to 11. We're going to dive into the compensation plan, the new fast start system from Solave. Solave University is going to be available. And then we're going to pop into a great party watching OU crush Texas. Oh, did I just say that out loud? I didn't mean that. Maybe um, you might be a Texas fan. And so We'll just have a good rivalry that day. <laughs> so I know you want to know what are the other I Am Solave Tour dates. Well, I'm going to tell you what is not confirmed but is tentative tonight. Now, uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma, October 12th and 13th, this weekend is 100% confirmed. We also have confirmed Tampa on October 19th and Puerto Rico. We're going to launch Puerto Rico on October 20th. Now, these other dates that you see there, they are tentative and still to be confirmed. But I want you guys to take a quick look at that. You might want to jot those down. I know you're saying, wait, 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 I'm writing, I'm writing. How about a screenshot, Bob? Boom, you could do that right now. So look at those dates. Check them out. Begin to look into your calendar. Book those dates and be prepared. Remember, these are tentative. The white ones are official as well as the Tulsa, Oklahoma so what else is hot? Well, of course, the Solave Scoop is hot. Equipment, support, um, how to earn income, hot topics. You can find all of those in support.solave.com. Also, this Thursday night at 6 p.m., we are going to do an in-depth sales training on Outreach Manager, not just a how-to, but we're actually going to dive into how to use Outreach Manager to increase your productivity and to increase the number of conversions that you have in your business. So that's going to be the Outreach Manager training this Thursday, and uh, you can go to empoweredliving.biz and get the number there. I'm sorry, the registration code, because that will be a webinar as well. We're going to actually go into live, into Outreach Manager, show you how to use it, show you the tools you want to use, how to utilize the sales tracker and all those things actually from a sales perspective. Okay, number three, I said the new Solave Scoop. Check it out. There's new videos on there. Um, every week the new Solave Scoop is posted there in support.solave.com. Also, the weekly hot topics are posted there, everything you need right there. Um, another way you can get to that is just go to solovey.com forward slash your username, log in, and uh, then you can just click on support, and it's all there. Another hot topic is Solave en Español, and uh, that means that we are hearing the outcry, amazing response from our Spanish-speaking marketplace, whether you're in Puerto Rico or you're in New York or L.A. or Miami. We're hearing you. We, you want Spanish-speaking materials. And so even tonight after this webinar, we've got a special call being recorded. We're going to have it posted. We will let you know. We'll send that out uh, through our uh, mailing list. It's going to be 100% in Spanish, and it's going to be the top 12 most frequently asked questions um, that we get um, in Solave and uh, from a network perspective, from a member perspective, and that is going to be 100% in Spanish. We've got some great folks that are going to be leading that who are also top achievers in the company as well. So that, as well as we now have on Empowered Living, we have the um, 
uh, Span. I'm sorry, yes, the um, Solave and Espanol. You guys know I'm struggling with that. I can say, hola, como esta, and that's about it. Um, but it's, the video is back up. You can access that on Empowered Living, and we're going to be posting other um, Spanish materials. Had some great things come into us today. Look forward to getting those up as well. So that leads us to Hola Puerto Rico. <laughs> Special announcement from CEO and founder Ryan Wirtz is going to happen tomorrow night. That's Tuesday at 9 p.m. Pacific. I'm sorry, 9 p.m. Um, that's East Coast. We need to really change that. Watch this. Watch how I do this. I do this right while you're watching me because I am not going to let you guys tell me that I did that. I don't even know what it's called, but we're going to call it Eastern. <laughs> there we go. Okay, that's the way I roll. Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Central Standard Time is 8 p.m. and 6 p.m. Pacific. Puerto Rico, get ready, get ready, get ready, because Ryan is going to be making a very special announcement, something he's going to be doing for you guys for your launch, a very special incentive. Hint, 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 that you all want to be a part of that call tomorrow night and very excited to be launching Puerto Rico. I'm so excited to be flying out there. I know the Lelfs, and I'm excited for many of the folks that are going to be meeting us out in Puerto Rico as well. So make sure you're a part of that call tomorrow night at 9 p.m. Eastern. Okay, real quick, the Reach the Beach Challenge. What's up this week? January 21 to 26 is the actual time where we are going to be laying on the beach, sucking down a nice, pretty... Uh, for me, Virgin Pina Colada with a little umbrella on there, and uh, want you guys all to be there. So who's going to be there with us? Well, these are the qualifications. You guys can check this out again in your support site. And let's look here. We've got some new folks that are rising up and getting their orange and yellow tabs. Tonight we're going to hear from James Linhart. You can see him there colored in purple. That means he's already out there in that top package, meaning he's going to get seven days, six nights at the Grand Wailea, flights for two, deluxe package with spa and golf. Um, James is single, too, by the way, so just a little FYI. <laughs> um, anyhow, we're excited that a number of you guys are ranking up in there. We want to encourage you to do so. And, of course, the final way that you can achieve that is to get 30 personal network trios and uh, in four of those direct trios. So let's see here. We've got Lucas and Harold, Carlos, Asana, and Miriam, Julio. All of them have already done their qualifications for the personal um, direct trios. Now they've just got to get their personal network. I'm not sure how many of those are, but those are just the personal direct trios. Very, very exciting that these folks are all getting their names up there. This has all been happening just over the last two weeks. So um, this is uh, this is a great group. I love seeing new names in that list. So without further ado, I want to introduce you to some very special guests tonight, uh, Ryan and Caroline Lelf. I know Caroline has been uh, putting the babies down tonight, and, and she's trying to get on the call with us as well. But we have Ryan and Caroline there, some of our top achievers, and we're the very first to actually go into Puerto Rico and began just passionately um, sharing Solave in Puerto Rico, and we're very excited to have them with us tonight. Let me just see if we've got Ryan on the call with us. Ryan, are you there? Yes. Can you hear me, Stacy? Oh, loud and clear. Yes, we can. Excellent. Well, Ryan, um, I, I know these folks, not everybody knows you, but they're going to know you because you are an absolute rock star. You have tremendous experience for many years in the direct sales industry, but more importantly, you are a leader who loves building people, and tonight I know that we are going to be tremendously blessed by what you're going to share with these folks. So I'm going to just leave it over to you. I know you've got five points here that you're going to share with us, and we're excited to learn from you. So Ryan, take it away. Yeah, thanks, Stacy, for having us on the call. And uh, I don't know that Caroline will get to actually say anything, but definitely we are a partnership. Uh, there's no way I could do what I'm doing uh, without her. She plays a very vital role uh, just for the simple fact that she believes in what we're doing. She believes in the company. She believes in me. Uh, she has a tremendous skill set that is much different than mine, and uh, we just uh, are very blessed that we're both on the same page for the most part. Definitely we have our moments, uh, just like any other 
uh, partnership, but uh, we definitely uh, could not do it without each other. And, you know, we have three young kids, Stacy. We have a active first grader um, who's going to be seven this month. Uh, he's getting ready to celebrate his birthday, and uh, he's in a Spanish immersion program. And then we have a daughter that's two and a half, and for any of us that have kids, we all know what the toddler stage is like. And then we have a, a nursing eight-month-old uh, who's just learned how to pull himself up and can basically motor around the house. If you look away for about three seconds, you can't find him. So um, between Addison, Atlanta, and Arthur, that's like three full-time jobs right there. And so um, I just say that to let people know that, uh, you know, this is one of the busiest, most active times of our entire life. Uh, we're not coming into this with no kids or with older kids. Uh, we're coming at a time where we were very hooked up. We were very busy when we first heard about Solovey. And uh, I think uh, there's a misconception sometimes that you can't fit something like Solovey into your busy life uh, or you can't be really successful. And I think uh, if we were all real honest, Anything that we actually truly believe in, we always find time for, which just kind of is a perfect segue into point number one uh, that I wanted to cover, which is I really think at the end of the day, what it really comes down to is do we believe in Solovey? Um, belief drives everything. Uh, there's a billionaire kind of mentor guy that I've always looked up to named Art Williams. He's a legend in the direct sales company. And he always said, when you believe something in your heart, it'll just come out right. And I hear so many people that are going, hey, can you give me a script? Hey, can you tell me what to say? Hey, how do I be successful in Solovey? Hey, how do I grow my network? Or how do I be a better leader? And I think so many times as human beings, we're looking for how to. And I would just encourage all of us to be reminded that maybe the, the real issue is that we really haven't done our due diligence. We really haven't invested the time in order for it to go from some knowledge in our head to belief in our heart. And that when we really get to the point that we really believe in the company, the people behind it, the opportunity itself, we've done our due diligence. Maybe we went out and compared it to other uh, direct selling opportunities. Maybe we compared mobile cell phone plans. Maybe we've done the research on the executive staff for ourselves. Maybe we've spent a few hours in the back office, you know, getting a working knowledge and having a, an education about just basic terms like GSM and CPMA and MBNO and just taking the time. Something happens to our belief system when we invest of ourselves. So I really want to encourage all of us tonight to know that the number one most important thing is not only that we believe in Solovey, but that we continue to believe in Solovey. Because I promise you, when we believe in something, the right words will come out, the consistent right behavior and activity will continue. As another great mentor of mine always says, right believing always leads to right doing. So instead of focusing on trying to do more, Focus on believing and believing and believing and the doing will follow. So that's a huge thing. We definitely believe in uh, Ryan, all the executives, the company, what they're saying, where they're going, the future, the opportunity, and everything about it. So that's a huge thing for us. The second point I wanted to cover tonight is Although we want to have a sense of urgency, and I do believe there's a window of time here as we are on the ground floor, or as I like to say it, I think we're still in the basement of this thing. No doubt we want to get ourselves in position to capture as much of the market as we can at a time where most people still don't really know about Solovey. But I also want to remind all of us that anything great is not built overnight that it does take time for our efforts to compound, that we have to allow for humanness. We have to allow for life. We have to allow for a fluidity in our schedules, in following up with people, in reaching out, in connecting. You know, things happen. Sometimes in our aggressiveness, uh, if you're anything like me and you're motivated and you want to accomplish things in a relatively short amount of time or you want to break records or you're just highly motivated or wanting to achieve some type of financial level, 
uh, within a certain frame, or maybe you're just motivated by writing a goal down and seeing yourself hit it, you forget that life happens. You know, I mean, people unfortunately have tragedies and things that come up. We had a lady call us today. We hadn't heard from her in a couple of weeks. And come to find out she and her husband were just going through a really tough time, had gotten separated. They got two young kids. She obviously was apologetic. But, of course, you have grace. You understand that sometimes there are just things in life that take precedent. So give time for the efforts to compound. Guys, the company just officially launched a couple of weeks ago. I mean, if you are consistent, if all you did was just set a goal to reach out and personally share one time a day in a relationship that you currently have, and you were consistent about that, you let those efforts compound, and then you saw that duplicate into other people as your network grew, I think you'd be blown away. Number three, share with people what they need to know and let them ask what they want to know. This is kind of a big point. It speaks for itself, but sometimes we take our experience with one person that we're talking to, and we take it right into the next one, and it wasn't needed. I'm the kind of person that you can get me in about three minutes if it's something I'm interested in. You would bore me to death if you gave me 30 minutes of facts. Or on the other side, I have to remind myself that I may be meeting with someone who needs all the facts before they move over. So that's been a great philosophy that serves us well, is sharing pe share with people about what they need to know and let them ask what they want to know. Number four is I truly believe our greatest success is measured by the number of people in our network that are getting money put on Purple Soul of a Visa card every single month. I was working today, and I had a, a person that I know through Facebook and kind of a person that I went to school with back in the day, and they started interacting with me about Soul of And at the same time, a lady in our network sent me a text message. We'll come to find out there was interaction between the lady in our network and this lady that was reaching out to me as well. And so I was quickly able to see that somebody in my network had already kind of made contact with this person, but this person was coming to me and saying, hey, we want to work with you. We understand you're doing great things. You have a big network. You have some experience. is always flattering. But I went immediately to my phone, text the person, and let them know that I was helping them and that I was going to be enrolling this new person under them. I cannot tell you, I got two or three long text messages from that person asking me for how much we're helping them, telling me about how excited they are, how many more people they're going to talk to. Sometimes the best play is to help others win, get the most people in the way of the money. Because what I want and probably what most of you want is I want a long-term secure business that is basically set up with more people than we can possibly even count who are making money, who feel good about Solovey, who are getting a free cell phone, because that means they're probably not going anywhere. And if they're not going anywhere, then that means my income's not going anywhere either, which means I don't have to jump back in once I get to a place that I feel good coming in, and I can invest time and energy into other places that my wife and I and Pam dream about and are important to us. And then number five, I just want to remind us that there is something in Solovey that is greater than any other opportunity I know of that I've ever seen, and that it is literally from day one. And that is, if you put the work in one time here, you get paid forever. I was talking to a guy today, and he said, uh, you know, I got approached by uh, actually Stacy Wallace, ironically, right here in Tulsa. He's been big in network marketing. Uh, I think he's currently with Mana V. And uh, he, he kind of made the comment that he just didn't know if there was enough upfront money in Solovey. And I said, well, I said, there's a lot of people who get real interested in a lot of big upfront money, and they make some of that big upfront money. The problem is, though, is we all get tired. The problem is, is nobody can sustain a, a, a huge amount of work and, a, and a, an unbelievable schedule and just crushing it their entire life. And so the beauty of Solovey is if you can really buy into the fact that if you share it, answer questions, get people enrolled, 
if you look at the length of how long people stay with their current cell phone providers, and you look at all the incentives and all the readings that once they get here, once their phone is working, once they're having a good experience, and definitely once they start making money on their purple soul day Visa card, the odds of them leaving are so slim, it's ridiculous. Guys, I'm telling you, this is one place you really can put in the work one time and get paid over and over and over and over again. That is what we all want. Some of us just don't realize it yet. I hope you see it here. Thanks for having me on the call. Really appreciate it, Stacey. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute, Ryan. Uh, you got to explain the orange jacket here in this picture. That's quite the the orange suit you have on there. Now, I got to see it firsthand, and uh, I, I, I would venture to say you're passionate about Solovey. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I mean, it just came at a really neat time in our life. I got fired at my job three days after I heard about it, and really for no reason. They couldn't even really give me an explanation. I had broken the all-time record three times, including selling 37 cars in one month in March. And I think it was just a soft reminder that it was time for me to find something that I could be passionate about it again, that I could believe in, and that I could take ownership of my family, my life, and my career. And uh, we like having fun. I've got to thank Jason Smith, who's a rock star in Oklahoma City in our network. About three hours before the launch party in Seattle, he said, hey, man, would you wear an orange suit if I wore a purple one? I said, like, dumb, <laughs> dumber. He said, you better believe it. I said, buddy, you find the store, and if they fit, I'm in. And we literally found not probably 30 minutes for an hour before the launch party was to start. And uh, we, just, we just want to have fun. We work hard. We, you can get stressed a little bit. Uh, we put in a lot of time, effort, energy, just like I know all of us are. And I heard a long time ago, if you're not having fun, you'll eventually be done. And so I have to remind myself of that and stay lighthearted. And so wearing an orange suit and letting it rip and having a good time and kind of embarrassing <laughs> yourself, that helps me enjoy the, the journey. Well, I can certainly – Ninja – Fruit Ninja, Princess Warrior can certainly <laughs> agree with that. <laughs> Ryan, I just love you and Caroline so much, and we are just truly grateful for what you bring to Solove and the life and the energy and the passion. Uh, please give our love to Caroline. I know she is going to be an intricate part of that FAQ in Spanish that's going to happen directly after this that we're going to record and post. And so we are just very grateful for you guys and all that you bring. Thank you so much for being a part of our webinar. Thank you. Well, we are also very uh, excited tonight, blessed, that when we talk about moving forward, when you get your business started with Solove, uh, we want you to take massive action. And, of course, we've talked about the massive action plan. We've talked that the name of it's probably going to change. We know that Solove University is going to be a massive university experience that's going to develop over time for people not only wanting to know how to build their Solove business, you're going to see some of that on the IM Tour but also how to build your life. And as we evolve, certainly right now, we talk a lot about SIM cards and porting. Going forward, there's going to be a lot of talk about our connection, our goodwill, our initiative, our relationships. And tonight, uh, someone that is going to be talking about that and how to master the fundamentals, uh, speaking more about fun, is uh, someone who's become a very dear friend, somebody who I have uh, just recently grown to love very dearly and uh, his partners in his business, uh, Glenn Crawford and others in the Revo 12 group, uh, they are very passionate about what they do and I'm very honored tonight to welcome our guest speaker this evening, James Linhart, one of the original Founding 12 members uh, that when I first met him at the original Founding 12 breakfast um, and, and get together, uh, I was very excited because the guy, um, he does not have a problem with a lack of words. He's very opinionated, and I love that because it shows me passion, experience, and dedication to something he loves very much. So, James, are you with us this evening? Yes, I am, Stacey. Can you hear me okay? I did. Did I just actually kind of say that you talk a lot? <laughs> I noticed that. <laughs> I think it was the first time somebody has called me opinionated. But, uh, Opinion, yeah, well, you, what you have to say is it takes one to know one, right? Yeah, correct. <laughs> you know, and definitely, I mean, that that was a big thing when we first met. I had an immediate connection with you, and uh, now I'm, I'm 
ecstatic that we're able to work together and collaborate and mastermind uh, with all the top leaders in the company and really uh, hammer down and give everyone the support and uh, the tools and resources they need uh, to really have a huge successful business, whatever that looks like for them inside Solve. So thank you so much for having me on tonight. Well, James, you know, what I love is the fact that, you know, when we, we have once a week, for those of you who, who don't know this, but once a week we have something called the Power of One. And it's where the top ten achievers um, come together in the company and we collaborate on what what do we see that's working? What do we see that's not working? How can we provide better feedback? What can we do to create uh, tools that aren't being created or that haven't been created? And um, James is always a great contributor to that conversation and um, very much uh, an asset to as, as we go forward and as we develop it. And I just wanted to have James on tonight because uh, we've been in the process of creating um, the what's next, the Solove University, the tools that we're going to be using to go out and train during the IM tour. James has been a, an incredible asset in helping to develop those. And I thought tonight what I'd love for you guys to be able to get a hold of is truly not only doing what you need to do to make money, doing what you need to touch people, but having fun in the process. So, James, I'm going to let you take it away, and we look forward to learning from you tonight. Great. Thank you so much, Stacey. Yeah, and I think you really touched on one of the biggest things is the, the having the fun part. Um, we just did a training here in New Jersey uh, for a lot of our leaders up here, and uh, the biggest thing that I think people ask for when they come to a training or when they get started with Solo Day or really any business, it doesn't really matter, people always are looking for uh, the secret to success. Or I think Ryan alluded to that as the floor is looking, what's the secret sauce? What's the key? Uh, just give me the answer. And and really, the, the secret to success is, is the same at all times, and it's focus. It's what are you focusing on on a daily, hourly, by-minute uh, process, because if your focus is off, then everything else will be off, too. So it, it really comes down to what's the definition of focus. It, it's the center, the center, the center of your interest or activity. The reason I repeat center over and over again is because that's what it is. It's a target. It's what is, is constantly in the forefront of your brain on a constant, uh, constant basis. And a lot of people are handing out flyers and posting on Facebook and checking their dashboard and marketing and all these different things that people do to kind of keep busy uh, because I think a lot of the things that people are doing is they're, they're concentrating, and Ryan, Ryan talked to them too, so I love how the leaders are on the same page, is it, focusing on that busy work. Uh, will really get you really nowhere in this business because if you're concentrating on the things that of the hows, like Ryan said, then you're not going to move forward to the goal that you're trying to aspire to. So instead of focusing on these things, you really want to be focusing on the one big thing, and that's money-making activities. And when I talk about money-making activities, it's more than just making money. Uh, this business is about empowering other people. It's about changing lives. But when I talk about money-making activities, it comes down to three things that will grow your business. The first thing is contacting potential members. And when I say contacting, I really mean uh, creating a written list and connecting with people. When I say a written list, people go, why should I write a list down? I have everyone on Facebook and they're on my cell phone and all those different things. The reason why you want to make a written list is because the people that you're going to come up with when you write that initial list are all the people that are in your daily lives, your family, your friends, the people you talk to on Facebook daily. The ones that you're going to find the most success with are the people that are outside that circle. So one of the biggest reasons you want to write it down is to kind of do a brain dump and, or a data dump, how you, however you want to call it, and put all those people on paper so you can leave room for the other people to come into your radar. And that's really why you want to make a written list. I also talk about connect. And what I mean by connect is really reaching out to someone through a phone call, through a Facebook private message, and connecting with them first before number two, because I think a lot of people skip this step of making the list and who am I going to connect, contact, and they skip connecting and they go right to sharing. When I mean connect, I really, really mean reach out and, hey, how are you doing? What's going on in your life? Um, how's the family? And really connect with somebody because that's what Solve is really about. Once you connect with them, then you can bring them in to the share process where you're sending them a video through the outreach manager, which we're going to teach on, on Thursday night, Stacey, so we're going to have a webinar on really the how-tos of how to share and how to reach out to somebody and tell them about Solve and bring them through that funnel. Because once you share it, then it goes down to following up with them 
and going through a very intricate process of one, two, three, one, two, three. So, for example, a, a funnel might be I send the what, what is sold a video, then I send the compensation video, then I send the vision webinar, and then I show them how to enroll. So I'm bringing them through that funnel. And the last and final step is enrolling new members. Enrolling new members also has a two-part step where you're empowering them and plugging in. What I mean by empowering somebody to enroll them is, is giving them the tools and resources in order to be successful and not giving them the answers. Because one of the things that a lot of leaders, you saw her Stacey talk, you heard Ryan, Ryan talk, and the biggest thing is giving people the access to plug into the things they need, to plug into the weekly webinars, the weekly calls, uh, the, the survey scoop, all those different things that people can plug into and to empower themselves. Because if you find yourself in a, in a place where you're not having fun and you're answering a lot of questions and there's a lot of fires to be put out, most likely you're not empowering people, you're enabling people. And that's a huge thing in this business because, like Ryan said, the goal is to really make it so people are impacted on a, on a monetary scale where it can change their life. And if you want to get to a point in this, in this business where you're not having to work, where that money keeps coming in on a residual basis, you want to empower others to be successful and you don't want to enable them. And really these three things, should consume about 80 to 90 percent of your time. And I think it's kind of the other way around. If we talked about the last slide, I think 80 to 90 percent of people's time is doing all that busy work, and, and I'm a culprit of it. Um, in my last company, uh, we became very successful at it, but in the beginning, I focused on all the fun stuff that I like to do. I like making marketing material and websites and Facebook and all those different things. And really, what we did in the beginning of this, how we built our business, was we only concentrated on these three things. And to be honest, I have to get back to doing these three things of contacting, following up, and enrolling new members, and also helping our, our team in, and doing the same thing as well. So 90% of your time should always, yeah. Well, I'm going to go back up here because I want us to take a okay. look at that because I want everybody just to look at what he was just referring to because a lot of people spend a lot of time posting, looking at their dashboard, you know, talking to people and trying to be member support for them. Uh, maybe they're surfing the web to find out what else is out there, hand, handing out business cards. But really what you're saying is those things are good, but if you guys have ever read the book Good to Great um, by Jim Collins, great book to read because you want to go from good activities or good business into great business, which is this right here. And if you guys look at that, really – that is the powerful meat right there. I mean, even if you're running an online business, not so much belly to belly, the list is where the action is. You've got to have a solid list, and you've got to connect with that list. I love that, James, because the, when you said connect, I, was, I, ha, I envisioned somebody showing up at a cocktail party and going in there and just immediately passing out business cards right. and saying, hey, listen, you get 4G you know, nationwide unlimited voice tech for $49. You'd never do that. You'd want to socialize. You'd, you'd talk to people. You'd find out about their kids first. You'd care, you know, and, and people don't want to know how much you know until they know how much you care. I know that's an old cliche, but it's a really great one, especially when it comes to money-making activities. That's awesome. Love it. Yeah, I think, I think the biggest thing is people kind of skip over that step. They, they, I mean, I'm a, I'm a corporate and past experience as well where you get excited about something and you just want to go share it with everyone. And the biggest thing is connecting with someone and finding out where they're in your life. Ryan alluded to that, too. I love how all the leaders are on the same page. I mean, you don't know where people are in their life. And all our job is is to introduce what Solve is and then bring people through the funnel process. And as you're going to see with the new system that we roll out with Solve, I mean, it's going to be very simple, one, two, three. Uh, we're going to provide all the resources you need. I mean, you, you kind of see and hear the leadership of this company coming together it's something that's never, ever been done before. We've all been in a lot of different companies, different businesses, uh, traditional direct selling, things like that. And I've never seen uh, leadership really want to come together and be able to supply what we really need. And, uh, and that's uh, basically a unified team operating as one. Uh, so, yeah, definitely. And, I mean, I just want to kind of go over uh, – I have a like little seven tip for success with Solve because, like I said, this is about empowering, not enabling. The first thing that we always teach our team is to be detached from the hows and attached to the outcome. What do I mean by that? Well, the outcome is what Ryan talks about. The outcome is what are you looking to achieve monetarily, lifestyle-wise? What's your life look like ideally? What's that picture perfect for you, that, that burning desire that you want to achieve? 
the hows will work themselves out. What are the hows? The hows are the script that you use, the video you send, the support site. All those things are the hows. They'll all work out if you focus on going after your outcome. The second thing is kind of attached to the first. We'll move in the direction of what you want. If you're at a point in your life where you know you want to earn a thousand dollars a month or five thousand to replace your income or six figure income a year or whatever that is in Solove, move in the direction of that by going after the three things we just talked about, money making activities. Find yourself kind of moving towards that first slide where we talked about. That's really why you you want to get back to those top three things of contacting, following up and enrolling. The third is probably what I think the most important thing is surrounding yourself with like minded people. And in person, uh, there's a powerful thing that happens with energy and all these different things when you get in a room with a few people. And we're not talking about having a hotel meeting with 300 people. Uh, we talk to our team about having little team huddles. I love this is a good team huddle for the week. But having small team huddles throughout the country. And that's two or three people meeting up for coffee. What are you doing? What are we doing that's successful? How can we get better? And really surrounding yourself with those like-minded people because that's where the magic happens when you get around people that are thinking like you and you come up with incredible options that you wouldn't have come up with on yourself. Number four is to be teachable at all times. Whenever something happens, whether you look at it and say this is a positive thing or you look at it and say this is a negative thing, always be asking yourself, what can I learn from this? If it was a, a bad experience you had with a, another member or a bad experience you had with support or a great experience you had with another member, at all times, what can I learn from this? And the second question is, what else can I do? Because I, I think JFK said it perfectly when he said, ask what you can do for your country, don't ask what the country can do for you. I mean, that's really what we're talking about here is how can you make an impact and what can you change? And then focus on mastering the fundamentals. Like we said, people are always asking for the secret sauce and what did you do and how did you do it differently? And I think you probably take a poll of all the top leaders in the company and they're all going to say the exact same thing, master the fundamentals, and that is the advanced class. Uh, so that's kind of the answer to that fundamentals. Six, we already talked about this, but empowering others by pointing them really to two things. You're either point when your lips are moving and someone's asking you a question, they're sending you an email, you should always be pointing them to, to either a tool. And a tool could be a video, uh, the support site, a document, uh, something like that, a tool, or a team where you're calling your sponsor or you're plugging them into a conference call or a webinar like this because you always want to be pointing them somewhere else. So the reason you do that is to, to uh, make it so people always have enough time to do Solove. Because if you teach somebody, all you have to do to come to Solove is believe in what Ryan was talking about and the vision of Solove. Then learn where the tools are and learn where the team are and point people to those places. And that's what Solove is all about. Lastly, and probably the most important thing that we always talk about people, is improve yourself before trying to change others. You know, I think a lot of people, including myself, kind of get into that, that the, uh, the place where you go, well, how do we get our teams to produce more? How do we get our people to produce more? And, and how do we get them to really understand what this solo thing is about? And like Ryan said, it happens over time. Everyone's in a different place. And improve yourself first. Improve, improve your beliefs. Improve your skills. Improve your fundamentals before trying to teach others how to do that. My partner, my business partner, Glenn Crawford, always talks about in order to teach something, you have to be something first. And so make sure that what you do is what you're teaching because always look in the mirror and, and look back at the day you had today and go, would I want my team to duplicate what I did today? And if the answer is no, change what you did today to what you're going to do yesterday. And that's really all I wanted to share tonight so with you, uh, Stacey. Thank you so much for having me on uh, the call tonight. Hope I was able to give a little bit of insight onto how we built our team, really focusing on the fundamentals and uh, focusing on really talking with people and really making a connection with the team. So, James, let me ask you a quick question. So when we talk about detached from the house and attached to the outcome, so, you know, if we were to shave away James, the super amazing guy, good-looking, ready to conquer the world, an incredible public speaker, what is your bigger why? Like, what, what does Solove mean to you? Why are you here? I, Solove means to me is freedom. Um, I mean, freedom and happiness are the top of my list. Uh, I tend to do a lot of generalizations with my goals and things like that, and I let the, uh, the universe as it is fill in the holes. Um, and the way if, if we really went into the story of how Solovey came into my life and where I am today and where I was 12 months ago, 
uh, people wouldn't believe it, I don't think. And so I kind of put my outcome out there as ultimate freedom and ultimate happiness and slowly fits into that equation. And it allows me to do the things I love to do, which is helping other people, supporting growth of people, and it really gives us an excuse to really impact people in a positive way by introducing them to something that they never believed possible. When we talk about someone becoming a thousandaire, uh, I don't think a lot of people give enough credit to that to create a business model where somebody can be earning a thousand dollars extra a month within a 90-day period, which is the system we're going to be coming out with to show people how to do that, it changes lives. And I think that's my ultimate outcome. And I kind of let everything else work itself out and just put the, the things in front of me I need to use, like the tools and resources and things like that. And I'm, I'm always constantly open and not stuck into how I do something because how I do something is how I do it right now. And if Stacey comes along and goes, well, this is how I do something, I go, well, let me look at how you do something. And so you have to be constantly open because I think if people focus on the hows and they go, well, this is the script that's the ultimate answer and this is this for the ultimate answer, well, people are going to be coming to you for the ultimate answer, which means you're going to constantly be working for the rest of your life. And it's about empowering others uh, to achieve their outcome and their result, not yours. I think somebody once said, in fact, it was a book that was called The Making of a Leader. And there was a quote in it that said, methods are many. Principles are few. Methods change, but principles never do. And that's one thing we will always know, that the methods of how you get to anything, they're always going to change. It's going to change in technology. It's going to change through um, the way we write, the way we think, our life experiences. The principles, the principles of success, leading yourself before trying to change others, self-leadership, that's a principle we can live by. And, James, you've given us, if, if people were to really look, at these seven things, these are principles to live by. And um, so we very much are grateful for what you've brought to the webinar tonight. Look forward to uh, spending time with you guys in Hawaii and being able to uh, truly synergize and create great things for the millions of people that Solovey will run one day reach. So uh, thank you for being a part, James, and go get a trio. <laughs> thank you, Stacey. Awesome. Well, that leads us tonight to our final, oh, it's not a Sunday F5 stretch. Watch me again. This is how we roll. It is a Monday. What night is the team huddle call on? It is on Mondays, not Sundays. So our Monday F5 stretch, meaning what are you going to do this week that you didn't do last week, that you got to do this week? Remember, if you want to go where no one has gone, you're going to have to do what no one has done. I know that's a cliche. But if you break that thing down, let me just tell you, if you want to go where no one is gone, that means that if you want to break the mold that your family hasn't been able to break, if you want to get out of a rut that your mom and dad might have been in, if you see your friends around you that, that just have been struggling and they haven't been able to pay off their house, they haven't been able to live in financial freedom, you're going to have to get out of that mold and do what they're not doing. Sometimes it means you've got to walk away from things you love. Sometimes it means you've got to get out of what's comfortable and do what you absolutely know. You know, I've in, in life coaching for 24 years, I've known, um, really, I started when life coaching, I started, I guess it's been about 22 years. So I started when I was about 20 years old, when I truly started to become successful in network marketing. And I realized that we were not in product management, we were in people management. And I began to realize that the more I connected with people, the more I realized everybody wants success, but not everybody's willing to pay the price for success. And I began to see people that would stay with the same friends and want the different results. And sometimes you got to walk away from the parties night after night after night, or maybe it's the soap operas, or maybe it's the, the reality shows, in order to do what you know you want to do this season of your life. And so I challenge you to make those commitments, make those stretches. Here we go. Number one, this week. I want you to find 20 people who will absolutely tell you, no, I'm not interested in Solovey. Because if you will go after, instead of, and I know many people, and I've gotten a lot of those emails this week saying, Stacey, I just, you know, I just don't know how to talk to people, and I can tell by the tone of their email they're afraid to hear the word no. They're afraid of rejection. And that's one of the things that you have got to stare that thing in the eye and realize you've got to care more about other people's future than you do about your pride. 
So I want you to make a goal this week, and I want you guys to go post it on Empowered Living Biz and Facebook, or you can post it on my my Facebook page, or or, uh, you can post it somewhere. Um, Find 20 no's. I want to know what's going to happen because you're going to have an aha and an epiphany when you go after finding 20 no's. Now, when you're in one of my coaching classes, I actually make you go after 40 in one week, and I've never ever in all those years ever had anybody that's been able no matter what their product is whether it's real estate car sales nutritional it doesn't matter i've never had anybody that's come back and found 40 no's so i want to see if you guys can find 20 20 people that can actually say no to you um, when you share the offering Um, whether it's through outreach manager i don't count that an official offering you got to have a face-to-face belly-to-belly no that's what counts for those no's number two Um, I want you to bump your fab. Remember, if you've got six, you want to get 12. Now, I'm loving seeing that fab counter, I mean that trio counter on the side of that Hawaii challenge because we're really able to see the folks that are out there getting it done. Um, But bump your fab. There's a reason for that. When you go to this I Am Tour, you guys are already seeing it. At the I Am Tour, the trio challenge in Tulsa, if you bring three people to Tulsa, you're going to eat for free. It's going to be a fiesta. You're also going to get a special uh, wrist to be, wristband to be walking around. You'll be at the front of the line. You're going to get recognized as being a doer, not just a dreamer. You know, the will to win is nothing without the will to prepare to win. And you can have all the dreams in the world, but if you don't have the power of execution, then you're nothing but a wishful thinker. So bring three. Bring three people or get your trio by Tulsa and eat for free. The top five people who bring the most people to Tulsa are actually going to get to go on that bus with Ryan and have a strategy session with CEO and founder Ryan Worch. Ask him questions. Get to know him. Have that private one-to-one time. That's going to be awesome. And then, of course, for everyone that gets their fab by Tulsa, uh, you're going to be able to be a part of the leadership breakfast uh, Saturday morning, which is going to be awesome. It's going to be right before the training and that as well is going to be with the top leaders that are there in Tulsa as well as CEO and founder Ryan Wirch. So there's three things for you to do to stretch yourself this week, find 20 no's, <laughs> uh, bump your fab, uh, of course, the trio challenge. Everybody go out and get a trio. Post it. Tell us about it. Get on the community in Solovey and tell the world, I've got my fab. It just creates excitement. Tell them you've got your trio. And then um, a silent one there that's not actually on there, number four, I'd tell you to tell someone you've not told lately, I love you. I think that would be a really cool one. i got a grandmother that's turning 90 this month, and I think she's going to be the recipient of my I love you tomorrow morning. Anyhow, our call, webinar schedule, this is in Pacific time zone. Monday is our team huddle webinar. Please pass the word. Obviously, our numbers were way down on the call tonight just because I know folks are still thinking it's on Sunday. And uh, But we're going to keep them on Monday, and that is at 6 p.m. Pacific. Tuesday, FAQ call, 9 a.m., and uh, Thursday, outreach manager training at 6 p.m. We look forward to seeing you there. Again, everyone, remember, now is the time. This is the place, and you are the ones to start the revolution. My name is Stacy Wallace, and I am believing the best for you. Thank you, James. Thank you, Ryan and Caroline. I'm believing the best for you as well. God bless everyone, and good night. <music>